podiatrist undergoes extensive training, including four years of undergraduate work, four years of podiatric medical school, and a three to four year hospital-based residency. Hi, I'm Michelle Allen. I am a podiatric medical student, and this is how I start my day. Um, my roommates are upstairs getting ready, and I was just making breakfast. Um, today we have planned um, class in the morning and then clinic in the afternoon. I always knew I wanted to be in the healthcare field. I just wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. I decided to shadow a bunch of different professionals in the healthcare field to really decide what, what was good for me. Um, I shadowed a podiatrist and it just fit me very, very well. Being in medical school and podiatry school, I've learned about the, the great diversity that there is and that it's not just surgery, it helps to save limbs. You deal with systemic problems that patients have like diabetes and hypertension and uh, heart disease. The curriculum is the same uh, the first couple years as far as with the regular medical program as well as podiatry. The only difference is that podiatry is a specialty. You specialize right from the start and uh, you meet great people, you get to network, it's a very small profession that is growing big and it's being very active within the community. Definitely uh, consider it shadow a podiatrist, shadow multiple doctors. I and mean, over the years I shadowed a few podiatrists, uh, all of whom were Barry grads, and uh, decided at the end of college that I really enjoyed the field of podiatry. She convinced me to come shadow her in her office and in the OR a couple times and after hanging out with her two or three different visits, I knew that podiatry was my passion and where I wanted to spend my life. I just got to Hialeah Hospital. This is where I do my clinical rotations, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all the new patients as well as the old ones. All right, come on. As a third year student, we are finally in the clinic and get to apply everything we've learned up to this point. We get to work in a real life functioning office and get to do things like seeing patients, presenting those patients to the doctor, taking x-rays if needed, as well as writing any prescriptions and doing treatments for the doctor to approve. So right now I'm waiting for Dr. Sutherland um, to present to him. Um, I had brought the patient in the room and I'm just going to kind of fill Dr. Sutherland in with why the patient was here. Um, I really love every time I come in I learn something new and um, you know again we have five people here and so um, we all work together and help each other. We did a biopsy on December 12th that came back positive. This is Dr. Sutherland. Yeah. So his biopsy was positive for onycholysis as well as onychomycosis. To all the undergrads who are possibly pre-med looking for a career in medicine, I would tell them to consider podiatry because this is going to be a booming field. With all of the trends of diabetes and obesity in the United States, there will be no shortage for a need of podiatrists and I think that this is the time to get into this field. Residency training um, is additional training that you receive after you've completed uh, your podiatric medical school training. Um, it's a three-year uh, surgical and clinical training. It's a balance uh, between experience with patients in a clinical setting and hands-on training in the OR. Uh, we receive one-on-one -on -one mentoring uh, with uh, well-seasoned podiatrists and foot and ankle surgeons that helps us to not only increase our confidence and our ability to treat uh, patients, um, but to also provide quality care and be able to work with other physicians as members of a, uh, a whole healthcare team. Residency training is the bridge between being a medical student and becoming a board certified physician. It's an important step where you go from just learning a broad based knowledge to honing in on a specific skill. Um, some people choose a field in residency where they've studied broad medicine and then they become radiologists. In podiatry, you've studied podiatry the whole time, but then you finally get to hone in on the skills that you want to practice as a podiatrist. Residency training is not as long as other specialties. Because we start day one with podiatry school learning about podiatry versus other medical professions, you don't go into depth a lot until your residency training. So having almost eight years of, seven to eight years of schooling really helps with knowing the profession. Just learning all the different aspects, all the different fields, all the different specialties of medicine have been great. And, um, and that's definitely enhanced 
if, if not increased my passion and love for, for, the, for, the, uh, for the field, just being able to see how integrated we are in this medical profession and how important our, our specialty is. Uh, following my medical school training and then residency, I could choose to either go into private practice, I could join a multi-specialty group, I could become the foot and ankle surgeon in an orthopedic surgery group, or I could become employed by a hospital and choose a more academic route. So for me, there were many different options that allowed me to decide as I progressed in my career. With podiatry, you do collaborate with many other specialties. It's more of a cooperative effort and really not a competitive environment. Uh, you deal with patients that have many different comorbidities and because of this you may be interacting with infectious disease, internal medicine, vascular surgery, plastic surgery, general surgery, emergency medicine, radiology. There's just so many other specialties that you may need to collaborate with in order to provide the best patient care. With um, patients who have foot and ankle problems all the time, we evaluate their radiographs and having the podiatrists and the podiatry residents available to consult with is critical to us to help us um, provide adequate diagnoses. I strongly agree with the assessment that podiatry and podiatric surgery uh, represents a growth industry. Uh, it has gone a significant evolution over recent decades where we are able to really treat a wide variety of medical and surgical conditions. I feel like uh, the new environment of collaboration with other medical professionals as well as being able to contribute to the medical device industry uh, has really advanced healthcare in significant ways. If you think about uh, podiatry, you have the opportunity to um, do reconstructive foot and ankle surgery. You have the opportunity to see patients in a clinical setting. You have the opportunity to do research and to advance uh, not only the profession of podiatry but other uh, medical professions through your research as well. Uh, main things that I advise many uh, undergraduate students and students across many specialties is just to really find yourself um, in someone. Uh, find a mentor, someone that you believe in. Each person has their own little niche in which they work and it's good to see a variety of people and good to see every aspect of what they do including from the paperwork to the amazing surgery that they do. The best advice that I can give I heard from another podiatrist who told me that podiatry is the best kept secret. It's a profession that not many people know about, but it's a very rewarding profession. Um, I recommend that you work hard and stay motivated. There's going to be times in your education that it's going to get challenging, but stick with it and know that at the end of the day you're going to be a doctor and you're going to be happy. Podiatry, the best kept secret in medicine.